Hello, I am Jose Montalvo, and this is your final instruction for class 2305. What I will be teaching you today is exit drills in the home. The home. Easy acronym. Now to get started, does anybody know what they would do if there was a fire in your home? Uh, yes, you. Stop the fire off. <laughs> no, that would be good if you were on fire, but this is a fire elsewhere in your home. Uh, yes, you. Exactly. The first thing you want to do is get out of your house. Now, who can tell me once you're out and ensured your safety, what you do afterwards? Uh, yes, you, sir. Call 911. Exactly. You're going to want to have to call 911. Either you do it at a neighbor's yard. Another important question. When you're getting out of your house, do you run, grab your puppy mittens, uh, grab all your toys, you make sure you grab all the clothes that you want? Uh, yes, you. Yes. <laughs> no. No. The most important and most valuable thing to save when there's a fire in your home is your life. Now this question is a little harder. Do you call 911 first? Uh, you. Of course. <laughs> no. Like I said, you want to first save your life. Afterwards, you can go to a neighbor's house, a friend's house, and then you can call 911. Now, long ago, there was a whole bunch of smart firefighters, and they came up with this very easy thing to save little kids. As I've said before, Eden, exit drills in the home. Now, one of the most important things, of course, with life safety is to practice drills with your family. Some people practice a few times a month. Those are the safe ones. Some practice a few times a year. Main concern is to have a place of safety, a safe haven, somewhere you, everyone knows to meet up if there's a fire in your home. Another very important aspect is that there are two routes for every room. As you can see in this little drawing of my personal home, every room has an exit of at least two routes. It's either through the most common way of the door, or if the door, let's say, is covered by fire or smoke, you can also exit through the window. Now that also includes hallways. You want to have another exit for each room in the house. An easy place to remember, whether it's across the street at the neighbor's yard or down the street at the local park, you're gonna to want to always have an easy and distanced away place for everyone in your home. Once you are at that safe place, dial 911. Call for help. Call a neighbor, call a friend, anything that will do. Now. What do you do when you're safely away from the fire? Yes, you. Call 911. Exactly. Now you're getting it. Can anyone tell me what are some signs of a fire in your home? Yes, sir. You. Some smoke. Good, good. Smoke. Now, one of the big things, obviously, if you see fire, you're going to want to make sure you get out. Easy way to remember. See fire, get out. Another one sign is this young man had told me if you see smoke you get out now once you're out are you going to want to go back and get your dog and all the toys and clothes that you that i was talking about earlier no good good once you're out you stay out that is the most important thing you're going to make sure for life safety of you your family and everyone you love once you are out you stay out now when you see fire you get out when you see smoke, you get yeah. out. And once you're out, what do you do? You stay out. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Go. When it comes down to it, you're going to always want to practice drills with your family. Maybe once a month, twice a month, a few times a year. Just make sure you practice and have a plan. What we used to do in my family, in the Montalvo family home, we used to have a diagram of the home, exactly how it is, and we would draw arrows. Make sure we meet at the house across the street. That was always a smart thing to do. Eat it. Now that's it. Exit drills in the home. Easy to remember, easy to go by. You're going to always want two routes for every room. As you can see in this drawing of my personal home, every room has two exits. Whether it's through the main entrance, the main doors, or also through the windows. Even the restroom and hallways, they all have exits throughout the whole house. Like I said, it's blocked by smoke, blocked by fire. Best thing to do, find another exit out of the room. A window will do. Uh, back door will also do. Just anything to keep you safe.
And then the final two things, easy place, remember to go, and then call for 911 after you are a safe distance away from the fire. Now, once you're out of the burning home, do you want to go back in for anything? Uh, yes, you ma'am. No. Correct, correct. Once you're out, you make sure you stay out. That's the most important for both you and your family. Now, another quick overview. When you see fire, what do you do? Get out! And when you see smoke, what do you do? Get out! And once you're out, what do you do? Stay out! All right, all right. Y'all are a smart bunch. Y'all have been great. Thank you very much. Again, I was Jose Montavo, your fire instructor today. And y'all have a great night.